Hey everyone, it's Sam here. So it's been quite a while since I've made a 3D project which isn't a card. So today I'm going to make a little gift caddy. I'm going to be giving this to either my nephew or my friend's little boy for Halloween. And the idea is I'm just going to pack it full of treats and maybe pop a little card in there as well. So I've already gone ahead and made one half of it. I'm using the lovely Peanuts collection. This is the Halloween collection. So I've got the 8x8 paper pad and I'm going to be using the ephemera to decorate. So what you're going to need is, to be honest, you could you could kind of have just the one half. You may want to attach it to something, but you're going to have another one on the back. So you load it up this side and the other side, and it's going to have a little stand. I just went back through like my, all my old caddies. So I always like to make a few caddies, Halloween time, Christmas time. I've done Valentine's ones as well. There's quite a few. Maybe I should even do a caddy playlist because, like I said, I do have a few. But if you want to do this one exactly how I'm going to make it, then you're going to want two pieces of, this is A4, so it's eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. Now, you could use letter size, which would be eight and a half by 11, but you're just going to have to alter your measurements slightly. But once you see what I'm doing, you should be able to do that quite easily. So for me, along my long side, I'm going to score at... In fact, if I do it this way, then if you do have 11 inch, it's going to be easier for you to follow. So along whatever length you've got, because it might even be 12 inches, you're going to score at four and five and then at ten and three quarter. OK, now if you're using 11, then I would score at 10. OK. And then pop it along the short side so that you've got where you've just scored at four and five, you've got those towards the top. You're then going to score at half and at one and a half down to the second score line. OK, then you're going to score at six and three quarters down to the same second score line and seven and three quarters. If you've got eight and a half, you're going to score at seven and then eight. So for the this pocket here, because again, it's optional, you might not want this one is a piece of four and a quarter by six and a half. Along the four and a quarter side, you're gonna score at three and three and three quarters. Rotate so those two score lines are towards the top and you're gonna score at half and one and a quarter and then five and a quarter and six, okay? For the base to attach it all together, this is a piece of eight and a quarter. Again, if you've got eight and a half, then cut eight and a half by three and you're gonna score at half one and a half and two and a half along that three inch side. So with the largest piece, just fold and burnish these three score lines. Okay, then I've already just started cutting down those score lines, but you wanna cut down both of these score lines here to the second score line. So you've got your, your one inch section there. And then again on this side, like so. And then if you remove the little rectangles just on the ends, of the squares there like so and now you'll be able to fold and burnish all of the other score lines and now because we're going to be folding everything in I would just take a little wedge off of each one of these little squares here I'm going to use the construction glue now just to start adding some strength into this so you want to add a little glue just onto the top of this one and also this one and then you're going to stick this behind this piece here you're not sticking onto that one just yet so just bring this under and around just make sure you've got a nice right angle there and it's nice and straight you can probably do this one at the same time and then you can kind of pinch those both together whilst they're drying and pop it this way as well make sure it sits nice and flush with your table and that way you know you've got a nice right angle as well now, before we stick it onto this piece, because that's how it's going to stick down, you'll want to decorate this. Two pieces, I've gone for the same on both sides. And this piece here is eight, so it's the whole width of the paper by five and a half. And I'm going to stick that one across there. I've also got two pieces of three quarters by eight. And they're going to go across there. You can see I've already stuck that one there. Okay, and then... Again, I'm just going to use that quick grab glue and just run it down both of these tabs and then just place that down. Again, try and get nice little right angles there. It's very easy to kind of push those sides in and then you can just go down 
the sides there with a the ruler. Might want to use tape if you want something that's a bit more instant. I'm pretty pleased with that. Then you're going to take this piece, fold and burnish all of the score lines. This is for that smaller front pocket. Again, this is optional, so you just fast forward if you're not adding this piece. And then along that long side, you're going to cut up to the second score line. That one and that one. This piece here, or these two little sections, just remove. And I'll just take a little wedge off of there. And then remove that one. And take a little wedge off of the sides there. Very similar to what we've just done with that one. And then along this side, so again, up to the second score line. And then remove this piece. And that one. And again, little wedges off of there. Then you're going to add your glue onto these little tabs here. And you're going to stick them in just like you did on that other piece. Like so. And then again, just bring that one under and around. Okay. And then you'll be able to just bring that one up. So these are your little tabs. If you just add a little glue and then just tack those into place. Again, try and make sure you get a nice right angle. Don't worry if these don't stick. You know, you could just stick it all down onto there in a minute anyway. So that's all drying. I've then cut this piece here, which is five by three and three quarters. Again, you'll want two pieces, one for both sides. And then add your glue all onto these three tabs. And if you want, you can have it in the middle of that one, but I've just popped mine towards the bottom. So it's up to you where you place it. And before I push all that down, I'm going to stick this one on as well. And this is a piece of two and three quarter by three and three quarter. And now I can just spend a bit of time just making sure everything's lined up and give it a bit of time to dry. Okay, so I've got my two sides. Then with your base piece, you want to create a mountain, valley, and then a mountain fold. And what's going to happen is the two, these pieces here are going to stick together. Now, if you want to add a paper handle in between there, then you'll want to do that first and then sandwich it between i'm going to have ribbon and i'm going to punch some holes through it so i just want mine to both stick together and then you'll see it's going to be able to come out and attach to the base piece here so i think yeah i think i'm going to attach the top first okay and then with this one here so you're going to have it in this orientation so I add your glue on both sides and I open it up. I'm going to stick one along the bottom here so it's completely flush with the base. And then bring this one over, kind of get it in place and squeeze it together. There we go. It's easier then for you to add a bit of pressure just make sure it's all stuck down you don't have to add the middle score line if you don't want it to do this it could just be to you know score at um, half and then at two and a half entirely up to you but i just think there's something that's what i think gives it more of that caddy kind of look there we go it should stand up nicely you can obviously pull it apart a bit more i think i'm just going to stretch that out a little bit Okay, so there it is, all ready to be decorated. So I'm going to, like I said, punch a couple of holes there and I'm going to have some black ribbon. I might have some dangles. I'm going to then have a nice little cluster decoration, a little scene built up here with the sentiment. And I'll show you it when it's all finished.
Okay, so there's the finished caddy. You imagine once that's got all the sweets in, I want to get Halloween themed and there's not that many in the shops just yet. So I think in a couple of weeks time, there will be um, plenty. So yeah, I'm just going to pack them all in. Like I said, I might slide a little card in there as well. You could always add another pocket on again. You could start with a bigger one here, maybe have three and have them staggered down that way. It's entirely up to you. You could decorate the sides here as well, but I kind of like the blacks. So I think it just helps them pop a bit more. So there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little Halloween caddy from me today. If you like these kind of 3D makes, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be sharing some more and doing this kind of mini Halloween series. But with all these kind of projects, just swap your papers and you've got something for any occasion. All of the products that I've used will be individually linked in the description box below. And I'll have my Halloween or the caddy playlist coming up now. If you want to watch that next, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.